Hello, Facer here. Welcome back to Facer Plays EU4, Ming the Merciless campaign. I believe this is episode 9. Uh, I've taken some time to think about the position we're in, and there's not really an easy way out of this. There is only 12 mercenaries available at the moment, uh, which means there is not enough mercenaries to take on the Shoe Separatists. My manpower is only recovering at 560 a month, so to raise an army of 30k, that's a good 27 months, I think, uh, ish, which is hmm, three years. I don't think this fort is going to last three years, to be honest. Uh, and yes, we're currently at war, uh, outmanned at the moment because I've allowed my manpower to drain drastically. Uh, yeah, we're, and none of our vassals are going to help us. So, we're going to try and get out of the war uh, as soon as possible. And yeah, mm, with that in mind, we're going to just okay. Right there we go, uh, darling. Right, okay. We really do need to get out of these walls. And what can I do to get rid of you? Well, I can't really do that. So, let's start building an army just to stop anyone from attacking us for the moment. Uh, okay. Well, never come across that. Uh, Do you know what? Let's slacken recruitment standards. We do need an army and we need one right now. And we are going to need money to fund this army. Uh, so let's take out a loan and let's recruit just a couple more cavalry. I'm just going to merge up these armies and screw it. Let's just spend the last of the money just uh, increasing our generation of cash. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, please, 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 please avoid everything. I'm going to bring this army together. In fact, can we get more mercenaries? Now we can. So we're just going to do that. And we'll just move everything over here. We are going to try and take out Malka as best we can. Oh, and it's already fell. That's not great. Uh, we do want to select our best leader. And we do want to merge these down. Well, into one. Right, uh, we have had a few people break tributary status because we are no longer doing much. Uh, yep, that is going to take a while to do anything. So, will we cross a river? Okay, we are going to be defenders. I don't think we'll cross any rivers there. 
Nope. Is that not mountainous province? No, it's farmlands. Okay, how has that just happened? We had... They've got 9-4. Malka, where is your... You? Oh god, military tech 7. Uh, seems we've really fallen behind the curve here. Okay, and it seems that uh, we're not getting out of this war without a lot. Uh, oh, no, it's not that one that we want to get out of. Uh, okay, we could do with turning that. That's great, as always, that, you know, there is a rented army from someone. I'm not sure who that army has been rented from. Uh, how is this annexation? Can we have 71? Oh, that's great. Uh, can we get any of our tributaries back into this war? We really need to. Oh, does that mean Chekatai is defended me? Oh, thank you, Chekatai. I really, really needed that. Uh, like, seriously, you do not know how much that is appreciated. Uh, provincial unrest. use slightly overwhelming numbers hopefully and yes that is a problem right do you want to peace out you do you won't become a vassal uh, just yet Do think it's going to be worth making them a vassal if we can get it? Oof. Let's leave the five mandates. We've got no mandate anyway. I'm just constantly have to be going to be buying down. Any issues at the moment? Uh, how close are we to knocking that tech? Quite a bit. Ooh, I'm not sure how some of these other nations are. And it's fast. We are getting completely bullied in this war. Okay. Right. Uh, what can we do? I 
Mingle gave Fresk. That's an even worse deal now. This colony not ready yet. Such a dreadful colony speed that's been. How many settlers? That's uh it's about ten again. Great, we do need more Diplotech as quickly as possible. Shakatai is helping save us here. Quite a bit. Okay, that's acceptable because they're not helping us anyway. Uh, Dali, are you at the point yet where you're going to concede? I don't think so. Does that mean that Cam is now below? Nope. Why is Khan getting involved over here then? They're over what percent it is. Shagatai is doing wonders. That's on occupying my provinces. Uh, Kerma. Right, let's just move this down here. We're going to take the war goal back. Just going to focus on getting Malka out. Okay, what was that Shigatai just being pushed out there? I don't know. Way they've run. What can I get? Uh, d -d 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 I mean, getting rid of those cores is probably a lot more important. Do need to siege as much of Malka as possible to get them out of this war. I mean, I do think the Shu are probably going to enforce their demands, but that is fine. What isn't fine is how many of these there are running around. You know what? My own land is a lot more valuable to me than theirs. But we could make them want to end this war quickly if we. I like that people are trying to take pot shots at those levels, at least, for me. Uh, let's go eliminate this thingy army. Yeah. 
come to Tory Army and then we'll try and take the main army. A revolt. Oh, another one. Uh, okay, we really need to do some more. Why is Song Ku so unrested? Uh, local separatism. Don't know why. But I hope we did win that battle, which now allows us to go up here. Hopefully, kick these out. Uh, oh, we've lost the war goal again. Okay, and we've definitely lost this battle as well. I think this might be the time to uh, accept that we're just not going to win this battle. We have no mercenaries available, which is fantastic again. That's going to consolidate those down. Uh, right, I am going to just move these and try and get a sneaky claim of the war goal. I genuinely think that this campaign cannot be turned around at this point. Uh, 37 years in, I think I might have literally just stretched myself a bit too thin. Okay, right. That is definitely it. Let's just see if we can minimise the losses. I mean, we've got... What? Four revolts in progress at the same time. to stem this at all. Okay. No, we cannot join yet another war. I'm sorry, but we are being absolutely battered here. Uh, who is Ava? Okay, why are you... Attacking the very new guy, show his land. Uh, okay, it's nice that one of my tributaries has decided to start hanging around in the area, uh, freeing stuff from the rebels, but I'm not sure why. Okay, and uh, that is pretty much. It? Okay. <sighs> well, I have a single troop. I have no tributaries. I hold the war goal. But about nothing else.
Well, that is definitely the best stuff I'm ever going to get out of that war. To just seed a single territory. Uh, yeah, let's negotiate with some rebels. So that's what happens when you negotiate with rebels. Uh, they literally get everything they have cars on, which makes sense. Now, let's have a look to see how many total rebels we have. I mean, I don't know how our manpower and force limits 104, but them having about 15 for the provinces. Is able to field 30,000? Oh, 32,000 actually. Uh, let's go back to protecting trade in Beijing. And we are gaining harmony, but not very fast. We've got 29k, 36k. Oh, great. Yeah, at 62k troops, I don't think there is any way that we can do anything with uh, this campaign at all, really now. Uh, like, really, at all, there is just nothing that we can do. Uh, right, so this is going to be the very last episode. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check where we was. Great power still top, but drastically shrinking as the inability to produce an institution round here. Has led to nothing. We're a previous professor, and if we allowed everything to actually go along the way that we'd have to, because we wouldn't be able to defend these, uh, okay, we'd probably lose that. Let's have a look to see how our nation would look. Not actually that disjointed. But we'd never start a chance of reconquering all these lands. Some vampires dropped quite a bit. As has our developed, dropped by over a hundred uh, development, dropped by over a hundred. And just generally looking around. We're no longer the same strength uh, that we once was. I mean, I am going to uh, keep this save file about, and I might try doing some stuff on it at another point, uh, just to see if there is anything that can be done. Yeah, I've just designed those provinces randomly there, because I'm just trying to get rid of the prompt for the moment. Uh, we were so close to... Uh, Having a settlement of sort, well, a colony. Missions, we weren't. <sighs> we weren't doing very well. Uh, Shagatai would probably end up swallowing us eventually at this rate. So they are well and truly on the way to being a decent power in this region. Every single subject has a high liberty desire. I guess Ming really can't be merciless. Not merciless at least unless you actually can win wars with very minimal troop losses. 
otherwise I think you do just put yourself on a back foot that you just can't get round from and I think that's what I've learned in this campaign uh, I think this combined with my Japanese Yusuji campaign has taught me a lot of valuable lessons about the Far East especially uh, there is a new DLC coming out on the 6th of September I will be doing another campaign then uh, which will be a real Britannia I know it's going to be an Indian expansion and I know generally what it does and that uh, you know in the guys who are wanting, wanting new content it's probably best to do an Indian campaign but I've done two Far East campaigns now uh, so although this one is a lot shorter than the first uh, and that one weren't extremely long I am hoping to now move into more western, more my sort of well treaded area going to try a English campaign uh, in this current patch no actually I'll probably wait for the new patch before we start and in the meantime there might be a few videos of Stardew Valley, uh, Old School RuneScape possibly and a couple of other games that I might just throw in in the meantime. So I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.